made with Mixcraft. Right. <clears throat> I just decided I'm gonna preach something to encourage the saints. Um, those who try and hunger and thirst for righteousness. Jesus Christ lived a sinless life and died and took our sins on himself so that we could claim his sinless life as our own. If we repent in his name, we are seen as righteous before God. Because his death on the cross killed our sins. And today I'm going to preach on faith. Faith is dependent on what you do and not how you feel. Feel. Faith has nothing to do with feelings, but has everything to do with your actions. From faith comes good works. God allows us to have a need for him, so we can come looking for him. A need is one of the greatest things that pulls us towards God. At times, God may hide himself so we can seek him. Jesus' miracles validated him as who he said he was. Why does God say no sometimes, you may ask yourself? It's to challenge your faith. Jesus said to man, to a man, unless you see a miracle, you won't believe. Sometimes God will say no to test whether your faith in him is based on your emotions or it's just genuine faith. The reason God tests us is to show us who we really are. Sometimes when you don't get what you want, <clears throat> It's when you're tested to see if you'll continue following Jesus or not. Which is why God will test and challenge us sometimes. God wants genuine people, not people who fake it for the crowd when their hearts are far from him. God's not interested in making you comfortable. He'd rather create a genuine you. So God will push you to the edge sometimes to see if you still remain with him. A man walks 20 miles with a lack of faith, but he still acted on his faith. He did not have faith by emotion, but with his action, he had faith to actually make that trek on foot 20 miles. He acted on information that he'd heard about Jesus when he didn't even know him and was willing to walk miles to see if Jesus was the son of God and if what people said about him was real. Our struggles will either draw us to God or destroy us, which is why God would rather have us hot or cold rather than lukewarm. God will challenge you to see if you really believe or you're just emotional. Faith is taking God at his word, saints. Faith is acting when it is so even when it doesn't seem so, simply because God says so. That's what faith is. It's believing God for something you don't necessarily have evidence for. The problem with humans is we always want evidence for everything. God is beyond our understanding. We attach our faith to our emotions. Don't attach your faith to your emotions because one day you'll feel good and then one day you won't feel so good. This is why some people's face is hot and cold. It never stays on a steady line of hot or cold because some people just go simply by their emotions. And this is a lot of Christians these days. And this is even me at times. Sometimes Satan will use that against you and bring something to mess up your emotions and you won't even think of God in those moments. Faith doesn't need evidence. Faith is trusting in God's integrity. If a man says he's gonna give you a huge sum of money, you'll trust him depending on who he is. So when God makes promises to us, when he is the most high, why don't some of us trust him? Faith is having evidence without having any <clears throat> of the things unseen. Faith is the belief in something even when you've got no way to prove it. So if you have to justify and prove your faith to others, it shows your faith is simply a carnal substance rather than a spiritual one. Certain circumstances may throw you off, 
But if you hold on to faith at times, you'll learn to appreciate God even more when he hands you a blessing. We ought to believe God without any conditions. No matter what happens, when you believe something, it will happen if it's the will of God. Which is why it's important to know God's will. You can learn God's will by looking through his word. If you believe what the Bible says is true and act on it, that proves our faith, not our emotions. Our sin separates us from God's people, which is why lukewarm Christians don't like to hang out with Christians who are on fire for God because they will feel convicted of their sins. When you start to live for God truly, you look back at who you used to be after doing it for a while and you see it's like looking at two different people and you give the glory to God for doing a work in your life. Moses was able to write a book about creation because God showed him his glory, not his face, his glory. When you desire God so deeply, he puts things in you which you didn't even know you had in you. You can have that. If you desire God enough, you'll start knowing things about God where you don't even know where you got the information from. Moses saw so much of God that God rubbed off on him. This is how he got the Ten Commandments. Moses had glory that faded, and you can see how great his glory from God was. Now those who have Christ constantly have glory that grows in us. The presence of God was only up on the mountain back in Moses' day, and now we have the presence of God in us because of the Holy Spirit. Don't base your walk with God on emotions because God doesn't change with your emotions. Faith has everything to do with how you act and not how you feel. If you don't feel like praying, but when you actually take the action to start praying, your feelings will change with your actions. And I can testify to this. Amen. Thank you guys for listening to this. Hopefully you got something out of this, you know. I just kind of took notes from the Bible study I did with my church. And you know, I learned all these things. So hopefully, this might encourage you guys with your walk with Christ. And yeah, amen. Thank you. Yeah, this is my mixcraft.